Welcome and good evening to this sixth edition of my one month in India and at this uh, Ayurveda clinic where I'm staying for uh, 30 days and um, I'm experiencing what Ayurveda is like, uh, the treatment and process and progress here. Um, I'm close to being one weekend. Uh, I'm one day ahead of the videos, so I'm speaking on the behalf of yesterday, day number six and fifth full day. And um, the days are routine now. Uh, there's no real difference in you know the actual events here. Um, you know, um, what is different is that uh, you slowly begin to see the meaning and understand the, the progress in the um, procedures. And um, so that's about it uh, with regards to that. Um, in between all of this, what do I do? Um, I read, I, um, I write articles. Um, I want to see if I can publish an article a week. I just published one uh, just earlier before shooting this video. Um, and you can find that in the link below, all my articles. Um, in addition to that, I'm getting to know people here. I've had a couple of really good conversations with one uh, guy called Dominic um, and another that I actually forget his name right now um, so and I feel I'm opening up more um, usually I am sort of in a yeah more closed state um, and I also feel that um, it's coming together more uh, yesterday I had a conversation with the doctor uh, the one that I basically talked to and have started uh, the second clinic and the two that he has started um, where he went through sort of the reasons for the different things here um, and um, he's taken everything very slow uh, very calmly very trusting he, he's a he's a very experienced doctor been living in eight different countries and um, his, uh, I think his, he said his dad, or his dad himself, Dr. Kampai, said that he had 70 years of Alveda experience. Um, so they know what they're doing, uh, and you also feel that. Um, and my trouble or my challenge has been to, to let go. Uh, the last years of traveling has been very stressful um, and most of the time it's not been that much fun uh, underneath everything I've been sort of um, in a depressed sorry just fighting a mosquito here I've uh, been fighting uh, depression uh, stress um, and many other things that are you know have been underneath as a heavy as a heavy brick and sort of made me unable to really experience the good and positive emotions of of the things that I saw or the people I was with or the jokes that I heard or you know whatever it might be um, so it's been very frustrating um, and annoying and the experience of love to to a woman to another person is something that I have a great desire to experience and something that I've had yeah great trouble with as well uh, during this period of time so um, I have been trying a lot of different things to sort of fi figure out what can I do to to um, experience uh, something that can actually heal what it is that I have not been able to heal myself. Um, and based on the conversations I've had with Dominique yesterday, who shared a lot of personal stuff with the uh, death of his brother, um, and. Um, and um, what this has done to him to be able to let go and and what is this, this really about is that you let go of emotions the emotions that have kept you trapped from really living in the present and um, that's the whole purpose of, of, of Alveda is to to reconnect 
with the, the moment but with your body and mind so that uh, you no longer will experience the emotions of the losses or the failures or whatever it might be, um, but that you experience um, you know, the present moment and that all that you lost or the stuff that's been tough or whatever it is, um, is there as a memory, but it's not holding you trapped in with the emotions. And that's one of the reasons why uh, the procedures, as you have seen um, or heard, uh, if you didn't know, one of the procedures is that you, uh, before the steam in the sauna, you get um, a medicine up your uh, anus, um, getting squished up there. And it's not a very pleasant experience, those few seconds, but um, I heard that 50%, I'm not sure about this number, but that's what I heard from uh, one of the experienced ones here, that 50% of the treatment is that, that thing. Because a lot of energy, toxic energy, a lot of stuff uh, is sitting in the, um, in the, um, in the intestines and the, uh, the gut area of the organs. So that is um, um, the purpose of that. Um, and tomorrow, uh, I'm speaking on behalf of today, uh, or to use today, sorry. Um, and um, I'm gonna share more about the big anima, which is a bigger, a bigger experience, uh, a bigger um, portion of um, um, of this being in your anus uh, coming up there because um, I will share more of that tomorrow in depth because um, I just want to sleep on the experience I had because then I'll be more clear about what I can share with you so um, besides that I really enjoy being here uh, and I really encourage you that if you are sitting with anything uh, where you feel like you don't know what to do and you see that this Ayurveda stuff so far, or whatever, sounds interesting, then please let me know. Comment on this video or reach out to me on here, Facebook, Instagram, um, and then let's schedule a talk because then I can sh share with you what it is that I'm going through and what I'm beginning to understand and gain an awareness around so you can just get the idea and we can plant a seed there. That's how it started with my friend Anders who, who was here um, three to four years ago and has been here three to f I think three or four times since then um, and um, yeah it's something that works uh, and while I'm only one third not close to one third into this um, yeah there is um, I still need to go through more to, to get clear on on results and outcomes and so on so um, yeah we'll see we'll see how it all goes but uh, this is this is sort of an update I hope you can use the videos the value the um, I have made the article I posted today is, has, is a more descriptive way of uh, the experience so far um, so maybe that's uh, would be worthwhile to read um, and besides that I hope you're just well I hope you're safe and um, until next time, may you be well and safe on that unique journey of yours and um, be in touch if you want. And otherwise, I will share a lot more content in the coming days, weeks, and months. A lot of stuff will happen, go down. Uh, I'll be in India here to, until the end of February. Then I'll go to New Zealand and then Australia. And after that, I'm, I'll head back to Europe and probably make a few stops here and there. So until then, may you be well and safe.